Right guys, big comp today. Really want to play well, so I'm going to have a quick putt before we play. Um, yeah, got a ball, got a putter. What are you going to do? Um, well, I was going to aimlessly chase this ball around the green for 15 minutes. Well, let's have a look what you should do properly. Let's do it. Let's do it now. I wouldn't. Let's see if we can get it. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. You join us on another episode of Short Game Saturdays, which means one thing. The sensation is here. How are we? Very good, yourself? I'm alright, thanks Chris. So today we've got a bit of a scenario where um, we're playing a comp, which a lot of people do on weekends. We've got 10-15 minutes before our tea time, we've been on the range, and now I would literally be chasing a golf ball around the green for 10-15 minutes, pretending that it's productive, pretending that I'm getting ready for the round, and um, you've got something to say about that, haven't you? Yeah, so you can come down onto the putting green and make sure you set up a... Every time. Uh, don't put your bag on the side, on a slow. James Robinson. Um, set up some drills just to get you ready. So one here just to help you work on your stroke and on your start line because that's going to be important when we go out there. You can be as generous as you want with obviously the tees. I say because what you're not trying to do is you're not trying to absolutely take away any confidence that you had but you also want something that's going to be productive. Yeah if you need some feedback you need to see if you're pushing some putts or pulling them potentially and then you can start to work out and get those through the gate. Then from there what we do is we do some holing out and then finish with some pace putting, which I'll set up in a second. So, James, let's see if you can get it through the game. Fire away. All right, Chris, so we're saying that rather than chasing a ball around the green, yep. this is going to be a better for me, yeah? So have you checked this is a fairly flat putt? Yep, so find a straight putt, set this up on a straight putt so you can start to see if it's starting online, if it's rolling good, and then you can start to be... You know you said you can be generous? Consistent. Why haven't you been? Well, my putters are a bit smaller. Hit it. Oh, it would have been perfect for it. Good. So, first part of the day for James, but straight through the gate, straight through the start line, so he knows his stroke is pretty good. We know that he's starting the ball online there. We just know it under pace, so he can hit this one a little bit harder. And one thing I really like about this is when I stroke it badly, the follow through is way too long. This is actually making me not go exactly. too far through. So, you've through got as well. feedback on your through stroke. Eight. Peaked early, that was it. We had a good run. Peaked and done. Net 90 today. <laughs> Net. Good. Ooh. Good, so went through the gate, started the line, pace was better there, so we do this around about four or five times. So Chris, when, when people are doing this, are we saying that the gate's pretty much just wide enough for the putter and then for the ball? Yeah, and we're going to go a grips length in front, so you're around about a foot in front of the ball to get that feedback. There we go. So, I know we've only done three, but now what we'll do is now do we've some made one. Holding out, now he's, <laughs> yeah, he's found form. So we're still going one ball? Still out. one ball. We're going to do some now in the range of where you're probably going to be putting for pars, bogeys, hopefully birdies. But Eagles. Probably not eagles in James's case. So between four feet and eight feet, you know, the ones that you want to hold for pars and bogeys, go through your normal routine. Make sure that you're doing your read, lining it up and giving yourself feedback. You can see here that even though I've missed that, I'm not going to keep hitting the same putt because I don't want to just be practicing the same putt, I want to practice different putts. So that's a good point James made there, obviously what we want to do is not hit the same putt over and over again because all we're going to do is compensate, change, it doesn't mean that we're doing a consistent stroke, we're just going to try and change and do something. So James go to a longer one now, so he'll go to around about 8 feet. No 
solid pull. So Chris, there I've had five or six pulled from eight to ten feet. We've hauled two of them. Yep. Generally I'm going to want to finish on one that I've hauled just for the confidence factor. Yep. Now where am I going from here? Just say like from, obviously he's hauled a couple of puts. So he's hauled a couple of puts. We've seen that it's rolled well, but it's good to finish on one that he holds. That's going to give him confidence. Now what we do is look at doing some pace before we go out. So all I've done, set up the gate again. So we're working on our stroke, constantly checking that the stroke's in a good position. And then from there, we've got 10 feet, 20 feet and 30 feet, which is going to be probably 90% of putts that you're going to get out on the golf course. So if we can do a little bit of random putt into those, get a feel for the greens not focused on a hole you'll notice that it's not to a hole you know we're not trying to think oh, i've got to get the read i've got to get the pace i've got to get the line all we're thinking is pace in line with those t's and we're doing a good job so effectively as you'll see we're going to go through this drill now but we've worked on start line yep we've worked on read yep. now working on speed correct and your stroke that might be start line i thought but start line and stroke so chris am i going one ball again for this drill yep one ball if you have got three, we could go three and you can hit one to each, but we're going to get your fitness up here. Where do you want me to go first? So we'll go first 20 feet. So, a little bit short to start with. Uphill, I forgot. Uphill slightly. So, all we'll be doing here is for James, he'd be now thinking he just needs to go a little bit longer with that backswing. Am I going to go the same distance now? But or? we wouldn't go the same distance now, we'll change, we'll go to 10. Really glad you said 10 and not 30. Short again. See, this is giving me a common trend now that the greens maybe aren't as quick as what I was. That's it. So now, because we're not focusing on the hole and a read and everything, all he's doing is focusing on being able to get the speed, start to see that that's the only thing we're focusing on. We're going 30? We'll go 30. Consistent? It's consistently short. Must have not had a big breakfast this morning. But you see, I'm quite happy that I'd rather be doing this on here than I would out on the golf course. Yeah, exactly. In, in, this, in the space of 30 seconds. He's been able to figure out that the greens are not as quick as he thought. So now we can go a little bit firmer, a little bit longer swing. 20? Yeah, let's go back to 20. Perfect, so bang on that now. So the pace is in. And you see, for me, the big idea, guys, behind this is that I'm not wanting to be perfect at this when I start. I'm wanting to be very good at it by the time I get on the first tee, or indeed the first green. Right, 30. 30. I'm only lining it up for, because um, it feels natural to me, it's what I do in my... Yeah, uh, stick to your routine. Yeah. Perfect, a foot past. I think we're finished on that one. Very good. So guys, as you'll see here, this was the final putt we hit from 30 feet, so just beyond it, that's exactly what we want. And I could even get the little bit of feedback that the line I was using, the practice line, it's not a range ball by the way, it's just a practice pro view one, Chris isn't that tight, was in the perfect position. So you see there didn't take James much time to figure out, he, the screens weren't as fast as he thought, they were a little bit slower today and all he needed to do was make a longer swing. So within five minutes there, if that, he's been able to adjust, get the pace, He's also done his holing out, he's done some stroke work, so now he can go onto the course with confidence. To be honest, I do massively feel there that that would help me. I don't do this when I play, you, as you no. know. Generally, we get a coffee and we go straight out, or if we are going to have a putt, we're trying to get the pace of the greens, but not really. It's just a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? So, you don't do it, I know you don't. No, I practice every time before we go out, and that's why I win every week. The fans see it, everybody sees it, it's a common trend. And by the way, Andy, who always comments on my orange shirt. Pink, man. Let's have a word about this pink shirt. Guys, thank pink. you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoyed it. Comment below, what would you do? What do you do before you play golf? Will this alter that? Hopefully it will. Yep. Uh, and apart from that, guys, uh, I've been James Robinson, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. <laughs>